Okay, so we are live in Fort Myers. It is the beginning of November 2017. Uh, I'll put a picture of myself in. I never get in my own videos here. But uh, we have a great patient from Brindon, Florida. And when, when did you have the onset of this issue in, in the right eye? Uh, initially, I started seeing some minor issues in January where I would be in a classroom or an office building somewhere and things would start to kind of fade in and out. I thought it was the fluorescent lighting. And so I was just kind of dealing with that. It was just every now and then, every couple of weeks, something would happen. But about two months ago, I started having a lot of blurry um, vision in my right eye, and it would come and go. And um, one day I was kind of driving on the road, comparing like this as I drove, and suddenly um, I said, who's this crazy guy in front of me who just turned off his lights in the middle of a rainstorm? And I opened up my left eye, and I realized that uh, his lights were still on. I just couldn't see out of my right eye all of a sudden. Yeah, and, and you had an unusual type of floater that I had. Usually I see it in people that are in their mid-40s. You're in their mid-40s. And it's not a posterior vitreous uh, separation, or PVD as we call it. It is an aggregation of fibers. It looks like a big ball of cotton candy. Absolutely in the mid-vitreous that has these little spiderweb-like uh, suspensory things, like a bungee cord. So you move your eye, but it always snaps back to the center. Right. And it, it actually blurred your vision fairly significantly. So the, the thing was, you, you went to uh, an optometrist at one of the uh, uh, commercial outfits, is that it? Correct. Did he, did he see that, or that was a while back? Well, it, it was about a, about a month ago. It was... It was Two months ago, I started having a little bit of problems, and about a month afterwards, I said, okay, I really need, need to go see a doctor because this this car just disappeared in front of me, and a bird that was uh, sitting on a, on a bench about 15 feet in front of me disappeared. I could only see it with my left eye, so I went in to get my eyes checked out, and they said, well, you, know, you have this, they said you have a floater, it's a pretty big one, said, but you know, it's um, kind of hold off and see what happens with it, and, um, and go see a go see a specialist if it gets worse. And then a couple of weeks ago, I'd say about two weeks ago, all of a sudden I just said, I, I can't deal with this anymore because at least 50% of the time, I had at least 50% of my vision, my right eye blocked. It looked like, it looked like I was looking into a cloud. And then uh, slowly it kept going to where it was almost 90% um, of my vision, my right eye was blocked 50% plus of the time. And so it, it was extremely frustrating uh, it was taking me forever to, to do my work and to do anything that involved reading. And so um, I found uh, found Dr. Geller online, called the office, and was very pleased with what I, uh, with what I heard. And booked an appointment, came in just a couple of days later, and had a procedure done. So uh, you, you came to the right place, of course. I have probably more experience in this than anyone in the United States, and for that matter, maybe in Europe as well and other places, but uh, uh, 15,000 to 20,000 laser sessions over the years. Uh, I can't believe the years have gone by this fast. But uh, we did one laser session and my strategy in this particular session was not to actually pulverize the big cotton candy ball, uh, but to cut the uh, little suspensory bungee cords that always snap it back to the center. And this morning, your vision was clear, correct? It was clear. When I, after the procedure yesterday, I was a little bit, you know, fuzzy because my eyes were still dilated, but I could tell that there was nothing blocking my vision, and it, it, was, it was wonderful. Couldn't say thank you enough, and this morning when I woke up, I was, uh, you know, I'd say 98% of my vision is back, and I, I say that because every now and then something small just kind of moves across my eye, but uh, before, it's like an iceberg that slowly moved in and just stayed there and might slowly move out and pop back again, yeah. but now it's just... Uh, it, it's as though I, I don't really have an issue, just maybe, you know, just a little bit of mild distraction once an hour for two or, two or three seconds. Yeah, and, and the issue with this type of floater is less is more in this game. If this is out of your visual axis, that might be what, where we want to keep it. And, and a lot of guys getting into that just don't understand that, that there can be issues if you do too much laser as well. Anyway, you're a great patient, and uh, stay in touch with me. Let me know how things are going. Thank you much. This is a, it's a life changer. Thank you very much, sir.